guys, what's up? Today I want to show you a very cool bass plugin that I've come across with or I was actually asked to try by an awesome guy from Soram Tones. So I did because uh, I was very interested in this one because a bass is always something that I struggle the most with when I make my covers and especially my originals because I have a really cheap bass but um, it doesn't sound really good and it's uh, very difficult to make it sound good in a final mix. So I checked out some uh, videos and reviews and of course I tried uh, the plugin itself and I really liked it so I thought why not to show you a cool stuff so you could use it for your music too. So not to bore you to death, uh, let's dive straight into it. It's called uh, the Loki Bass 2 and it's from Solemn Tones. So to keep you interested, uh, maybe first, uh, let's listen to how it sounds in a final mix with uh, my guitars and uh, the drums. And it will be actually a little sneak peek of my new original song, so hopefully you will like it. So let's listen to this. Let's add some drums. Okay, so now let's take a look at uh, the plugin itself. As you can see, it looks uh, very cool. I know it's not uh, the most important, but I really believe that it's uh, always cool to have uh, nice looking things, right? So let's start with uh, looking at some features of uh, the plugin. First, we have uh, the info. So it's uh, like a little cheat sheet. It's called uh, the key switches, which tell you which note you have to use to get a certain technique. It's actually very cool that uh, we are not stuck with uh, basic uh, bass lines because we can use some more advanced techniques like uh, pull-offs, hammer-ons or even uh, different slides. So it's very cool because we can make our bass sound more interesting. Then we have uh, the playing option. What is really cool here is uh, the human error, which adds some string noises and hand noises. So it actually sounds pretty cool when you listen to the bass track only. Then we have uh, the force slap option. So actually when you are too lazy or you don't know how to program the slap technique, you can simply just make uh, the basic bass line and then you can use the force slap technique. Okay, let's get back to the menu window. We have uh, one more option which is uh, the tone. Here we have some basic settings like low, mid, high and air. So I would say it's like um, EQ. But what is really cool and uh, very important here is uh, the enforce plug, which makes uh, the bass sound basically just more fluent. If you have ever been in a music studio, you could probably see a music producer make an additional track for a MIDI, or maybe double track uh, the bass to octave drop or something like that. So it's actually very similar. It's supposed to make uh, the final mix sound uh, much better and fluent, and to get rid of all of the unwanted ups and downs in a bass. What I really love about uh, this plugin is that we are not stuck with uh, just one tone because it offers a few different presets which I'm gonna show you now. Maybe let's start with the one that I used for my little demo. It's called the Time Wizard. Clean the eye. 
I hope that you like the plugin too because I really do and uh, don't forget about uh, the discount code that I've got you and thank you very much for watching and I hope that uh, this video will come in handy for you and your music thank you very much and I will see you in my next video cheers